What better time to rise than now? The war is still raging, there's no talk of pulling out. There's 10,000 dead civilians and that's just from the bombings and when you mix that with the sanctions and the numbers get alarming, but no one seems to hear it. Conquering has always been their intention, this is clear. Shit, they've overthrown the governments of almost every country south of here. Panama, Nicaragua, Cuba, Chile, Guatemala, the Dominican Republic, Honduras, Argentina, not to mention Haiti. And if they didn't overthrow them, then the World Bank surely did, with the Trojan horse of debt relief or the poison of the pen, or with helicopters and tanks. What better time to rise than now? The factories are closing and the schools are shutting down. Both candidates for president are full of shit and not hesitant to just admit their paupers for the corporate men in government. The Pentagon, the CIA, the CEOs all find a way to make their wealth and keep it. While poverty leaks through ghetto streets, it's like the papers just delete it. Or people just don't read it. What better time to rise than now? And instead of asking questions, let's just try to find out how. Because if they're so brave and they're so mighty, then why were they so afraid of that protest in Miami? They spent $20 million just to keep it all contained so the public wouldn't hear about this thing they call free trade. They built a fence around the meetings because the CEOs are scared and they're receiving federal funding so the cops can be prepared. But what are they? And who's providing them this right? They put shackles on the masses, but therein lies their might. Their power is protected by the silence we convey as we work like little robots on their projects every day. We produce the cuffs that cuff us with the very same hands, but if we stop that production, then we stop their plans. It can be that easy.